Hey guys, Dr. Katie here with your health snippet right here on Hey Doc. Guys, we know this is, we know how important the like button is. So do remember to smash the like button and to subscribe. This will help to grow this health community and to allow this content to reach out to more people. So thank you as you do remember to like and to subscribe. Now, did you know that according to the World Health Organization, in 2019, there were 257 million people infected with hepatitis B worldwide. Of those, there were sadly 850,000 deaths from the virus complication. The main cause of death from hepatitis B are liver sclerosis and liver cancer. How does someone get hepatitis B? Well, you can get hepatitis B through contact with infected bodily fluids, through accidental needle pricks, or in unsafe tattooing, or when going through a medical procedure, sexual contact with an infected person, mother to child transmission through the birth canal or through breastfeeding, or in the intravenous drug user community when they share infected needles and syringes. Some people get an acute infection of hepatitis B. That means that the infection is brief and short. That is mainly because they have a good and robust immune system that is able to clear the virus from their bodies. When things become messy and difficult is when the body is not able to do so. And so the infection lingers in the body and affects the liver long term. And that's when the complication of liver sclerosis and liver cancer develop over time. I want to share another beautiful scripture with you today. It's found in Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10. The word of God reads, So, do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. In this scripture, God promises to strengthen us. The truth is, the Lord will never allow you to go through a trial that you are unable to handle. And even when it is that you have allowed this trial to come upon you because of the decisions that you have made, God still promises to strengthen you. If you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, and therefore you are not a child of God, let this scripture be an encouragement to you, no matter the challenge that you're going through right now. Now, there is hope though. The key here is for you to be diagnosed early. Medical advances have made it possible for people who have been diagnosed at the early stage with hepatitis B to have therapy. And the aim of this therapy is to slow down the progression of the disease and ultimately its devastating impact upon the liver. Because it's such a serious condition, but yet very preventable, I encourage all those listening to this video to get tested. If the result shows that you have not been immunized from hepatitis B, but yet you do not have the disease, this is great news. There is a very effective immunization program against hepatitis B, so I would encourage you, if that is your situation, to get fully immunized. And once that has happened, your risk of catching hepatitis B is almost slim to none. However, if the result of your test shows that you are infected with hepatitis B, hopefully we have caught this at an early stage and you can start to get the treatment to slow down the progression of the disease and to hopefully prevent its complications for many, many years to come. So that's it guys. I hope this video has been helpful and remember about this. Remember to like, share and click the subscribe button and we'll see you in our next video. Take care.